you know, I try my best to stay away from the the news. But on this radio show I listen to, they every hour break in with, you know, news topics. And it's a, interesting these days to hear, um, you know, what the headline news story is. Why? Because they're picking the news, that, you know, what the headline is, you know. Let's gas everyone up with this story, you know. But um, this woman in Kentucky, this county clerk, who apparently is a prisoner of conscience, as they're saying, Kentucky, right? And um, she refuses to basically give out same-sex marriage licenses. Um, you know, she had some kind of breakdown where she's like, well, you know, my conscience tells me this is wrong because marriage is between a woman and man, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, she's, she's basically making it look like she's taking a stand because of her personal beliefs. Now, on one level, you got to applaud that. Okay, it's hard to, but you got to. On the other level, you start realizing, wait, 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 wait. The way they worded this up, and he, to hear her talk, what she's basically saying is, my personal beliefs get in the way of my job as a city employee in regards to the way I handle people. And that should be heroic as opposed to seeing being something bad. That is a very, very dangerous uh, ground to stand on. Okay, because you invite at that point uh, racist tendencies. I mean, all kinds of biases that, I mean, if we even separate the idea that, okay, well, maybe, you know, on a religious standpoint that she has some, some ground to stand on. You know, it's a debatable thing. Maybe, you know, she's that religious. Maybe it is against her code and that's not right to intrude on that. But basically what she's saying is, well, my personal opinions um, definitely count when I'm doing my job as a county clerk, when I issue out licenses. Um, I mean, what, what else are you exactly responsible for? I mean, can you imagine a judge coming out and saying, yeah, by the way, as a judge, it's, I'm her it's a heroic thing for me to basically tell you that my firm belief as a gay person is that I want to institute homosexuality throughout um, the land, and so whenever I rule on a case, I always bring that into play. And I'm like, that's what this story is basically supposed to teach us, huh? And that's interesting to me, because, you know, we have this mindset, I call it the Southern mindset, and that may be prejudiced in its own level, that, you know, what do they say, that, that homosexuality is, is a choice? Okay, my older brother was gay, I assure you it's not a choice. The motherfucker went through hell having to deal with not knowing who the fuck he was throughout his teen years. And I just heard about the, the, the shit he went through. Uh, a lot of fucking stress and strife. The guy was one of the nicest people I've ever met. So you can fuck off if you say it was a choice. No one would choose that on themselves. But you guys don't understand that. I didn't either until I witnessed it. And it opened up my eyes a little bit. I probably would have been different otherwise. But to say, well, they should go to therapy. I've heard that. They should go to therapy or like in an exorcism to get this gay tendency out of them. Is that right? Is that right? Because I'll tell you what, one thing that definitely is considered not to be born with is racist and prejudiced tendencies. It's taught. You're born pretty much accepting the all. You have to have racism taught to you. That's something you need to be deprogrammed of. So under that idea that you're all promoting that homosexuals need to go to some psychiatrist and have the gay beaten out of them, well, you guys just got in the front row, didn't you? Because according to your rules, which you now want to, to, to grab, this medical association jargon, you guys are the first motherfuckers that we want to send to the doctor to get fucking fixed. Hey, it's only fair, right? Nice ass.